Have you ever wondered why, despite all our knowledge and wisdom, we still find ourselves in situations we can't handle? This question has puzzled many of us, hasn't it? We've all experienced that moment when our best laid plans crumble, when our well thought out strategies fail, when our carefully crafted solutions just don't cut it. Take a moment to think. Remember that time when you thought you had it all figured out, only to realize you were nowhere near the solution? It's that humbling moment that reminds us of the limitations of our own wisdom. But what if we told you there's a wisdom far superior, a wisdom that transcends human understanding? This wisdom, my friends, is God's wisdom. It's that divine insight that sees beyond our immediate circumstances, beyond our limited perspectives. It's the wisdom that guides us even when our own understanding fails us. The truth is, no amount of personal wisdom can equate to the wisdom of God. Recall a time when you trusted God's wisdom over your own and how it led to outcomes you never could have predicted. Let me share an anecdote from my own life. There was a time when I was faced with a decision that could change the course of my life. I was offered a high paying job in a city far away from my family and friends. Logically, it seemed like the perfect opportunity to advance my career and secure my future. But something deep inside me held back. I prayed about it and I felt a strong sense that I should decline the offer. Against my own reasoning and the advice of many around me, I trusted God's wisdom over my own. Fast forward a few years, I found myself in a position that not only fulfilled me, but also allowed me to be close to my loved ones. Had I trusted my own wisdom, I would have missed out on the beautiful experiences that came my way. This is just one example of how trusting in God's wisdom can lead us to paths we never could have predicted. Trust, my friends, is not merely an emotion but a decision, a choice that we make. It's an act of faith that requires us to step out of our comfort zones and embrace the unknown. It's about acknowledging that our own understanding is limited, that we see only a fraction of the bigger picture. When we trust in God's wisdom, we are essentially saying, God, I believe that you know better. I believe that you see the entirety of my life and you know what's best for me. This trust is not blind. It's rooted in the belief that God, in his infinite wisdom and love, will guide us to our highest good. Trusting God's wisdom is a crucial part of spiritual growth. It's about surrendering control, letting go of our need to understand everything and allowing God to lead the way. It's about recognizing our own limitations and understanding that we don't have all the answers. Trusting God's wisdom means recognizing our own limitations and surrendering control to a higher power. Faith is not just about believing in God. It's about believing that God knows what's best for us. Faith, in its essence, is a powerful force, a magnetic energy that has the potential to transform our lives in ways we can't even begin to fathom. It's not just a spiritual concept, but a tool for personal growth and success. It's about surrendering our doubts, our fears, and our insecurities, and trusting that a higher power is guiding us towards our true purpose. Think about the last time you faced a challenge that seemed insurmountable, a hurdle you thought was too high to jump over. But then you took a leap of faith, and suddenly, the impossible became possible. You overcame, you prevailed, and you grew. That's the power of faith. Consider, for instance, the story of a young man who was told he would never walk again after a devastating accident, but he refused to accept this verdict. His faith was stronger than the words of the doctors, stronger than the physical pain, stronger than the voices of doubt in his head. He believed, with unwavering conviction, that God had a plan for him. And after months of struggle and perseverance, he took his first steps. His faith led him to a breakthrough, proving that sometimes our greatest victories come from our deepest acts of faith. But faith is not just about overcoming challenges. It's also about personal growth. It's about becoming the best version of ourselves. When we have faith, we are open to new possibilities, new opportunities. We are not afraid to dream big, to aspire for more, because we know that God is on our side, guiding us, supporting us, and leading us towards our destined path. 
Faith is the compass that guides us when we are lost. It's the light that illuminates our path when everything else is dark. It's the force that keeps us going when everything else is telling us to stop. And so, as we navigate through the journey of life, let's remember to keep our faith strong, to keep our trust in God's wisdom unwavering. Because at the end of the day, faith is the bridge that connects us to God's wisdom. Trusting in God's wisdom is not a one-time event, but a lifelong journey. It's a perpetual commitment, a continuous process of surrendering our will and embracing His. This journey isn't always easy, nor is it always smooth. It's filled with ups and downs, moments of clarity and periods of confusion. But let me tell you, it's a journey worth embarking on. You see, I've walked this path. I've had my share of doubts and uncertainties. I've questioned, I've stumbled and I've fallen. But each time, trust in God's wisdom has picked me up, dusted me off and set me back on my path. It has been my compass when I was lost my anchor in the storm, and my light in the dark. This journey isn't always about understanding why certain things happen. It's about accepting that God's wisdom surpasses our understanding. It's about realizing that His plans for us are far better than any plans we could make for ourselves. It's about faith, about learning to see beyond our circumstances and trust in His greater plan. There will be times when you'll be tempted to lean on your own understanding to take matters into your own hands. But remember, our wisdom is limited, our perspective narrow. God's wisdom, on the other hand, is infinite, all-encompassing. It sees the bigger picture, the grand scheme of things, the masterpiece that is being woven in the tapestry of our lives. So what do you gain from this journey of trust? You gain growth. You learn to be patient, to persevere, to endure, you gain transformation. Your heart changes, your character deepens, and your spirit strengthens. And most importantly, you gain wisdom. You begin to see life through eyes of faith. You start to understand the beauty of surrender and you learn to trust in God's wisdom over your own. The journey of trust is one filled with growth, transformation, and profound wisdom. It's a journey that shapes us, refines us, and ultimately leads us to a deeper understanding of God's wisdom and His love for us. Surrender is not about giving up, but about letting go and allowing God to guide your path. This is the heart of surrender, the hidden wisdom that many of us often overlook. It's a concept that might seem counterintuitive at first. After all, isn't life about striving for what we want, pushing ourselves to our limits and taking control of our destinies? But here's a different perspective. Imagine you're a sailor and your life is a vast, unpredictable ocean. You can try to fight every wave, resist every gust of wind and steer your ship with unyielding determination. But the ocean is vast, the wind is strong and the waves are relentless. In this struggle, you might find yourself exhausted, lost and adrift. Now picture this instead. You unfurl your sails, you release your tight grip on the rudder and you allow the wind to guide you. This is surrender. It's not about giving up or admitting defeat. It's about understanding that there are forces larger than us, wisdom deeper than ours, and a divine plan more profound than anything we could ever conceive. I remember a time in my life when I was struggling with a decision that seemed impossible to make. I was caught in a storm of confusion, fear, and uncertainty. I tried to navigate the storm using my own wisdom, my own understanding. But the more I tried, the more lost I became. It wasn't until I surrendered, until I let go of my need to control the situation, that I found clarity. It was in that surrender I found the wisdom to trust God's plan over my own. This is the wisdom of surrender. It's about releasing our tight grip on our own understanding our own plans and allowing God's wisdom to guide us. It's about trusting that there is a divine plan for us, a plan that is far greater than anything we could ever imagine. So the next time you find yourself in a storm, remember this. Surrender isn't about giving up. It's about letting go, opening your sails, and allowing the divine wind to guide you. In surrender, we find the wisdom to trust God's plan over our own. So, what does all this mean for you? 
let's condense the essence of our journey into a few key takeaways. Trust, faith, surrender, these aren't just words but powerful forces that can transform our lives. Trust in God's wisdom means acknowledging that there is a greater plan at play, a plan that we may not fully comprehend but is designed for our ultimate good. Faith is the bridge that connects us to this wisdom. It's the unwavering belief that God's wisdom is superior to our own, guiding us through the murky waters of uncertainty. And surrender, that's the final piece of the puzzle. Surrendering to God's wisdom means relinquishing control, letting go of our need to understand everything and allowing ourselves to be guided by a wisdom greater than our own. Trusting in God's wisdom doesn't make life easier, but it makes us stronger, wiser, and more resilient in the face of life's challenges.